Good morning. As the sun rises on a new day, we're turning our attention to the vast Pacific Ocean, where subtle changes are setting the stage for a season of surprises. The Pacific is often called the engine room of global weather, and right now, it's humming with activity that could impact millions across North America. As of September 18, 2025, a weak La Nina has officially formed in the equatorial Pacific Ocean, setting the stage for a dramatic shift in North American weather. This isn't just a blip on the radar, La Nina is a powerful climate phenomenon, and even a weak event can have far-reaching effects. This cooling of Pacific waters is the main engine behind our autumn and winter forecast, influencing everything from temperature to snowfall. When the ocean's surface cools, it changes the way heat and moisture move around the globe, setting off a domino effect that can be felt thousands of miles away. For meteorologists, these subtle shifts are like clues in a mystery, helping us predict what's coming next. La Nina triggers a chain reaction in the atmosphere, shifting powerful jet streams and setting up the patterns that will define the coming months. The jet stream acts like a high-speed river of air, steering storms and cold fronts across continents. When La Nina is in play, it can push the jet stream farther north or south, changing who gets soaked, who gets snow, and who stays dry. The Climate Prediction Center expects this La Nina to persist through autumn and into early winter, before fading to neutral conditions by January or February. This means the first half of winter could look very different from the second half, with shifting patterns that keep forecasters and everyone else on their toes. This means winter could start one way and end with a completely different, and possibly more intense, personality. Early on, you might see milder conditions but as the season progresses, sudden bursts of cold, snow, or even severe storms could take center stage. It's a reminder that winter is rarely predictable especially when La Nina is involved. Understanding this big-picture pattern is the first step in preparing for what's ahead. Whether you're a farmer, a commuter or just someone who loves winter sports, knowing how La Nina shapes the season can help you plan, adapt, and stay safe. So let's dive into how this La Nina will shape the jet stream and your winter plans. From shifting storm tracks to unexpected temperature swings, we'll break down what you need to know to stay ahead of the weather this season. La Nina's real power comes from how it reshapes the jet streams, those high-altitude rivers of wind that steer our weather. During La Nina, a high-pressure ridge in the North Pacific pushes the polar jet stream south, sending cold Arctic air into Canada and the northern U.S. Meanwhile, the Pacific jet stream targets the Pacific Northwest, bringing wetter, stormier conditions to British Columbia, Washington, and Oregon. The southern U.S. gets the opposite. The subtropical jet weakens, leading to warmer, drier weather from California to the Carolinas. Where these jet streams clash, over the Midwest and Great Lakes, expect volatile storms and heavy snow. This classic La Nina blueprint splits North America into a cold, stormy north, a warm, dry south and a very wet northwest. October 2025 will showcase La Nina's influence right away. A strong high-pressure ridge over the western U.S. brings warmer, drier weather to the southwest, Rockies and southern plains, worsening drought and wildfire risk. In contrast, the eastern U.S. will see cooler air as the jet stream dips, bringing frequent cold fronts to the mid-Atlantic and northeast. The Great Lakes and Ohio Valley will be wetter than normal, with early frosts ending the growing season in the upper Midwest. Wildfire danger remains high out west and could even expand eastward due to persistent dryness. October's pattern sets the stage for a season of sharp contrasts. Residents in vulnerable zones should stay alert for both fire and early cold snaps. As October turns to November, the high-pressure ridge shifts east over the Mississippi Valley, bringing unseasonable warmth to the central U.S. but continuing the dry spell. The east coast cools down as the jet stream digs in, giving cities from Boston to D.C. a taste of early winter. The Mississippi, Tennessee and Ohio Valleys dry out, while the Pacific Northwest, Western Canada and Alaska get drenched by a persistent Pacific jet stream. Ski resorts in the Cascades and Canadian Rockies could see an early start to the season. New England may get early snow as storms ride up the coast. November is a transitional month with the atmosphere locking into its winter configuration. The pieces are falling into place for a classic La Nina winter. December 2025 is shaping up to be a classic example of a La Nina winter, 
with atmospheric patterns falling right in line with what meteorologists expect during these events. A robust high-pressure ridge is forecast to dominate over Alaska, acting as a major player in steering the continent's weather. This ridge is not just a minor blip, it's a powerful system that will have ripple effects far beyond Alaska's borders, influencing temperature and precipitation patterns across North America. This high-pressure system forces the polar jet stream to dip much farther south than usual, opening the door for frigid Arctic air to surge down into southern Canada and the northern United States. As a result, these regions can expect frequent cold snaps, with temperatures plunging well below average and snow chances increasing, especially in the northern plains and Great Lakes. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. tells a very different story. Here, a persistent ridge of high pressure keeps the region shielded from the cold, allowing for warmer and drier conditions to prevail. Cities like Dallas, Atlanta and Miami may see more sunshine and fewer rainy days than usual with temperatures often running above normal for December. This setup creates a dramatic north-south divide across the country. In the north, residents will face a true taste of winter, frigid air, frequent snowfalls and icy conditions. In contrast, the south will experience a much milder season, with many days feeling more like early autumn than the heart of winter. For those in the southern states, December will likely bring plenty of opportunities to enjoy the outdoors, as mild temperatures and dry weather dominate. Light jackets may be all that's needed, and green lawns could persist well into the holiday season. The main storm track this month is expected to carve a path from the west coast, through the plains and midwest, and into the Ohio Valley. Along this corridor, frequent storms will bring a mix of snow, rain and wintry weather, keeping residents on their toes and making travel tricky at times. The mountainous west, including the Rockies, Sierra Nevada and Cascades, will benefit from these storms, building up a deep and healthy snowpack. This is great news for ski resorts and water resources as the snow will help replenish reservoirs for the year ahead. However, the southeast and parts of the northeast are likely to miss out on much of this precipitation, remaining drier than average. This could mean less risk of flooding but also raises concerns about drought conditions if the dry pattern persists. While December sets the initial stage for winter, meteorologists caution that the pattern is likely to evolve as the season progresses. Bigger, more impactful storms could develop later in winter, especially if the jet stream shifts or the high-pressure ridge weakens. So, as we head into December 2025, prepare for a winter of two very different experiences, one cold and snowy, the other mild and dry, depending on where you live. Stay tuned for updates as the season unfolds, and be ready for whatever winter has in store. January 2026 keeps the La Nina pattern going strong, with high pressure near the west coast and a relentless storm track across the northern US and Canada. The Midwest, Great Lakes and Ohio Valley face frequent powerful winter storms, expect blizzards and heavy snow. The Pacific Northwest stays wet, with abundant mountain snow, great for water resources and ski resorts. The southern U.S. remains mostly warm and dry, but the occasional cold front could bring a brief taste of winter. The northern half of the continent bears the brunt of winter's fury, with travel disruptions and hazardous conditions. January is likely the stormiest month for the nation's heartland. Stay prepared for rapid weather changes and significant snowfall. February 2026 could be winter's grand finale with a possible polar vortex displacement sending brutal Arctic air deep into the northern U.S. and southern Canada. This pattern shift favors powerful nor'easters along the east coast, threatening major snowstorms from D.C. to Boston. The Midwest and Plains face dangerous cold and fast-moving Alberta clippers, bringing bursts of snow and whiteout conditions. Even the South could see a brief sharp cold snap if the polar vortex dips far enough. February holds the highest potential for memorable winter weather, especially in the Northeast. Preparation for extreme cold and heavy snow is crucial. The season's most dramatic weather may come at the very end. While the North braces for snow, the southern U.S. faces worsening drought as La Nina starves the region of rain. The weak subtropical jet means California, Arizona, Texas and the Southeast endure a long dry winter, straining water supplies and agriculture. Warm temperatures accelerate evaporation, deepening the drought and raising wildfire risk. In places like California and Texas, a dry winter can mean year-round fire danger. 
Even the Midwest and Ohio Valley could see increased fire risk during dry spells. Snowpack will eventually help in the north, but southern and central regions must stay vigilant. La Nina's impacts are truly a tale of two extremes. Blizzards for some, fire risk for others. As we wrap up our look at the winter of 2025 to 26, it's clear that this season will be shaped by a classic La Nina pattern, bringing a dramatic split across the country. The weather will be anything but ordinary, and understanding what's ahead is the first step to being ready. In the northern states, residents should expect a winter that's colder and snowier than usual. Frequent snowstorms and icy conditions will be the norm, making travel and daily routines more challenging. Meanwhile, the southern half of the country will experience a stark contrast with warmer temperatures and drier conditions dominating the season. This means less rain, more sunshine, and a heightened risk of drought. The Pacific Northwest, however, will buck the trend, facing persistent wet weather. Expect frequent rain, cloudy skies, and the potential for flooding in some areas. The Midwest, Great Lakes, and Ohio Valley are likely to see the harshest winter conditions, with blizzards, heavy snowfall, and biting winds making this region especially vulnerable. In the Northeast, the biggest storms may arrive later in the season, so it's important to stay vigilant even as winter winds down. For the southern states, the main threats will be drought and the increased risk of wildfires. Dry landscapes and parched forests mean fire danger will be high throughout the season. Residents should focus on water conservation, create defensible space around homes, and follow local fire safety recommendations to protect their communities. If you live in a snowy zone, now is the time to check your heating system, seal up any drafts, and make sure your emergency kits are fully stocked with essentials like food, water, and batteries. In the south, take action by clearing dry brush, following fire safety guidelines, and staying alert for any fire warnings issued by local authorities. It's also wise to have an evacuation plan in place, so your family knows exactly what to do if conditions change quickly. No matter where you call home, preparation is key. Every region faces its own set of challenges, but being proactive can make all the difference. Stay informed by keeping up with local weather updates, using reliable apps, and paying attention to emergency alerts. This winter's personality will be persistent and intense. Expect the unexpected, and don't let your guard down as conditions can change rapidly. Preparation is your best defense. Review your safety checklists, talk with your family about emergency plans, and make sure you have supplies for both short-term storms and longer disruptions. As the season unfolds, keep an eye on changing conditions and be ready to adapt your plans as needed. Stay safe, stay prepared, and look out for your neighbors. Community support can make a big difference during extreme weather. And above all, keep an eye on the forecast. With the right preparation and awareness, you can face whatever this winter brings with confidence.